Abraham has an encounter with God. God is emphatic. I am El Shaddai. The word I am in this text is Ani in the original language. It's an emphatic pronoun. I, even I. I alone. Myself. Behold. Let's see what Yahweh is demanding that Abraham knows. My name is Mululi Madenda, and this is the Berean Munch. El Shaddai, another compound name of God, or El. El is generic for deity, while Elohim is plural form and emphasis, the great God. The first time the name is used is in Genesis 17.1. And when Abraham was 99 years old, Yahweh appeared to Abraham and said, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be blameless. El Shaddai is almost always translated the Lord Almighty. The name is used in the book of Job more than any other book in the biblical canon. 31 times to be exact. In Job chapters 38 to 41, God shows his might by a series of questions directed to Job. Were you, were you there when I laid the foundation of the earth? Who marked off its dimensions? God asks, who set the Pleiades and the Orion's belt in place? He asks about the behaviors and the patterns of plant and animal life. El Shaddai, the Almighty. Yahweh in Exodus 6 tells Moses, I appeal to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as El Shaddai, but by my name Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. The father of our faith was only introduced to one aspect of God, El Shaddai. We are privileged because the Bible allows us to see the many facets of the God that we serve. The root word for Shaddai is Shan, which in the Hebrew means breast. So El Shaddai is literally the many-breasted one. It speaks of excess, over the topness, more than enough, above our contemplation or our ability to understand. Almighty, all sufficiency. So back to the story in Genesis 17. Let's find out what Abraham learned from this experience with El Shaddai. Abraham is 99 years old. Sorry, his wife is 18 now. Both old and she's barren. God introduces himself to Abraham as El Shaddai and promises excess, descendants too numerous to count. He brings to life a dead situation and multiplies it over. So profound was this encounter that Abraham, at about 138 years old, would marry another after Saradite and have six more children. El Shaddai, the Almighty, the All-Sufficient One, the God who is more than enough. The New Testament, which is originally in Greek, uses the word Pantocrato to embrace two of the names of God, the Lord of Hosts or Armies, which is another name we will learn soon and the Almighty. It expresses omnipotence. It's used 10 times, nine times in the book of Revelation alone, and once in the book of 2 Corinthians. Revelation 1a, speaking of Jesus, I am Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Pantocrator, the Almighty. I like what Paul states in Ephesians 3.20, now unto him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, that is El Shaddai. 